a bond between the student and the teacher, allowing them to trust them and try out the things you're getting them to do in their skiing and, uh, and buy into it. If they don't buy into it, they're not going to learn. You should be involved in the decision between what the group needs and what the group and you agreed so there's a partnership in between each other. It's organized. Somebody that comes in with a bit of a plan and that way you can develop a theme and make it a little bit more memorable for people. Good observational skills that relate to the environment that they're working in at that given point in time and it needs to relate to a target or an outcome that they're trying to create or develop, relating their communication to that individual based on what they saw happen during that particular run. How to develop a certain movement. So sometimes it may be uh, by using a different trajectory, different tactic. Achieve measurable goals on the hill. Can you achieve this and then can you change that in this environment, the number of turns, the, the width of the corridor you're skiing, the the speed you're getting into your first turn. Create a, a more measurable environment so that our learners can assess themselves. A critical thinker. So they're gonna ask themselves about what they did, what they're doing, and what they're going to do. You're gonna be showing what you're talking about. You're gonna be using your own style, your own personality, and not trying to copy somebody. Tenacity, somebody that goes after a goal with unrelenting pursuit. They keep digging and digging and digging till they get the job done, and it doesn't stop. Genuine, they'll demonstrate proficiency in the craft, and, and uh, it, it keeps things pertinent and real and on target. The genuineness comes with time and knowledge and experience and practice.